Final community conversation today is with Andrew Westhouse, the Senior Director of Development over the Piedmont Family YMCA. As of course, we're into October, so we got to talk Halloween and the Halloween hustle coming up at the end of the month. Uh, we sure do, and we're very excited about the Halloween hustle. This is our second year uh, in a row, and uh, we had a really wonderful turnout last year, and to date we are surpassing that. So. Uh, October 26th, 8.30 a.m. at the Brooks Family YMCA is where we are going to kick it off. Certainly, we want people to wear their costumes. We want the costumes to be, there we are. We want the costumes to be comfortable so that you can get your best time, whether you're walking or running. Uh, and we also want this to be a family event. So uh, we have a two-mile walk where we'll have trick-or-treating so families can bring their kids and really enjoy the fitness and really test out those uh, Halloween outfits for the week following. Maybe get some of that Halloween candy early enough. That's the right. Kids will go to sleep at a normal time. That it, night. Exactly. <laughs> Once you start at 830, the sugar should That's certainly right. wear off by the time. And how can people comes. get involved with this? Uh, so we have a couple different things. We certainly are still looking for volunteers to help um, with our aid stations, to help set up and break down. Uh, PiedmontYMCA.org is the location to find all this information, whether it's registering. Currently, it's $65 to register as an adult until October 15th for the 10K run walk. And then also for the two-mile uh, walk, it is $40 per adult. Children 0 to 12, of course, are free. And uh, the website has all of the information that you'll need to get involved. And again, we would love for uh, anyone who wants to be involved from the standpoint of volunteering, certainly to running and walking. And then of course, we'll have a ton of candy. Um, relatively new to the Y here, yes? I am relatively <laughs> new, but not new to Charlottesville. So uh, I did see the last segment where the weather looks good for Saturday. So I know we have some football uh, coming up, but we're really excited about hopefully good weather on the 26th of October. You had mentioned in the break here that kind of your impression of the Y from the outside looking in yeah. was a gym and a place to maybe swim as a lot of people will feel and now realizing quickly that it's so much more than that. Well, it really is. The Y serves the community in many different ways. And of course, the gym facility is amazing. The Brooks Family YMCA, the aquatics facility, Cavalier Aquatics is well known in the area. We had a swimmer who made it to the Olympics and right. won a medal. Uh, but early, for example, early learning is incredibly important at the Jefferson School, so ages zero to five. And after school care, so if you have uh, a child in the city schools, we provide after school care at all of those schools. And of course, we provide uh, incredible fitness classes and programs for children all the way through adults. And every single age group can benefit from uh, being involved with the YMCA. And of course, great events like the Halloween Hustle, October 26th. And again, <laughs> make sure you dress up. Andrew, appreciate you coming in. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Aaron? Appreciate it.